Richard wants a tattoo to close the chapter on his battle with drug addiction. It's Richard. Pleasure. I'm here to uh, petition you to create an original piece of art for me. All right. And I have this as a design concept. My tattoo represents basically heaven and hell. It consists of skulls, wings, and a scripture. I'd like to have a, a full sleeve. Okay. Had uh, a drug addiction for about seven years. And it is a constant reminder. You just never forget you know, where I've been. I've been to hell and back, basically. Hmm, let's do the skulls big. Yeah, you can't do all this mush between them anyway. This is a big tattoo, and the design that Richard wants has a lot of problems. Modify it, make it look better. Yeah, I didn't expect the skulls to be, you know, that small. It's not about that small. It's just there's no, no breathing space between the skulls at all. So yeah. what you're going to have in about 15 years is a bunch of mush. I'm not really sure if I wanted for it to just be that it, dark. Give it know? more contrast. Shut up! Guy. A client with artwork isn't always a good thing, especially when it looks like mush. All right, um, I'll draw it out. It'd probably be a lot different than what's there. Hey, that's fine, you know. But, you know, at least you won't have the same tattoo as somebody else does. I agree with you. Thank you. All right, I'll give you a call when it's ready. All right, thanks. All right, man, take care. That's not really my thing. I don't do much skulls and things like that, you know? He's in a really uh, enlightened period of his uh, artistic career where he doesn't want to do anything negative because he's such a positive individual. You can't do skulls. You do the skulls since you're so good at them. It's yours, man. He wanted you to do it. The great, the great Ami. The great Ami, oh yeah. That's my nickname. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Hey, I talk to Ami. Richard's back and he's ready for his next city. Second sittings are cool because I get to revisit my design with a fresh eye. Look all right? Yeah, it's good, man. So today, I'm gonna see if you can put that scripture right here on the bicep. Okay, what uh, type of letter? Uh, I think you should do it in some creepy looking old English kind of stuff. Yeah. All right, grab a seat. Let me take a look at some lettering that I got. The scripture is Isaiah 6, 5. That says, my destruction is sealed for I am a sinful man and a member of a sinful race. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. When people see my tattoo, I want them to know that there's a way out. It's decent. I like that. Yeah? I was wondering if you could have Isaiah 6, 5 within, you know, within some smoke, some shading. I wanted it to, like, be part of the tattoo, not just the scripture. Yeah. I think it'll look cool. I think if I, uh, just... I'm going with some smoke around and leave that blank. I think I can come up with it. No problem. All right. All right. My tattoo will help me come closer to those people who are on the streets. All righty, then. Those who are strung out. I've been there. They can relate to me. And I, I just believe that that's why God is using me. OK. What do you do? I'm a full-time student right now. Really? Going to school? For? Dentistry. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm living testimony that through Christ people change, man, inside and out. You know, in Richard's case, he's got to give himself more credit because uh, not for nothing, but he did it all by himself. You know, whatever his past was, he, he quit what he was doing and he changed his life. And I think people seem to forget that once in a while. They seem to just thank God for everything. And, you know, you should also give yourself a little pat on the back and say, you know what, I was the one that made it. Take a look. When Ami finished my tattoo and I walked over to the mirror to look at it, I was speechless. Ami's work went above my expectation. His artwork is just it's incredible. In the beginning, I was pretty skeptical about the whole skull and everything and the wings, but I was pretty happy with the tattoo. It was pretty cool. I feel like that I could move on with my life and leave the, the hell that I've been through behind.